Good day, everybody, and welcome to my Arax or Araxi guide for mobile in RuneScape 3. To be quite honest with you right off the bat, I don't know that there's a whole lot of demand for this video to have ever been made. I don't know that any RuneScape players enjoy paying quite enough to try to figure out how to do Arax or on mobile. Although I do know RuneScape players enjoy a great deal of pain, so here we are. Now, the level of pain in question varies depending on how experienced you are with Araxor and Araxi. Uh, this guide, like my other mobile guides, won't be a full beginner's guide, and I'm not going to go over all the mechanics very specifically. I'm only going to go over them as they pertain to the differences between mobile and desktop and things that I found you should be wary of if you try this on mobile. So with that, let's get started. Um, I will have timestamps in the description as well if you want to skip ahead anywhere. The first thing I want to tell you about the mechanics on mobile is that I died a lot of times trying this on mobile. That's nothing specific to any mechanics, it's just a tidbit. So the reason for this was exclusively the minions mechanic. Uh, the first and most important thing I want to note is that if you're going to do this on mobile, uh, you should go down the minions path. Uh, so that you have the most time to take out all of the minion spiders before you get to the final phase where you fight Araxi. Otherwise, uh, on mobile, what's exceptionally difficult is paying attention to when and where the minions spawn, and namely where the mirror back spiders spawn. Uh, on PC or on you know on desktop, you can right click and uh, see easily through Araxor and spot the minions more easily. But on mobile, uh, it's a little bit more difficult. You have to you know, long tap in order to do the right click. And it becomes a little bit harder to uh, stop yourself from attacking Rex or once the mirror back spider pops up and just to find the mirror back spider in the first place. And especially if there's the whole darkness mechanic going on or the acid spider at the same time, it can become a mess. I will note that I only died on mobile and on desktop equally, actually, uh, due to a mirror back spider when I did not go down the minions path. So in my case, I already had the spider leg top. So even though the minions path was open, I chose the darkness path. Uh, or the acid path, whichever one was open. And I died, as I said, equally on desktop and on mobile because uh, I DPS too quickly, and I ended up having to fight minion spiders uh, in the phase four, uh, which really messed things up with all the other mechanics of Araxi. So it could just be a me and my playstyle thing, but I know for sure that being on mobile will not make phase four with minions any easier. So that's my first uh, word of warning and advice. The second thing I want to mention as Another word of advice is that uh, latency, as with all things on RuneScape Mobile, is kind of an issue, um, as with other bosses, as with anything else you do on mobile. Even if you pick a server that's close to you geographically, uh, you can still get into some trouble. One thing that I found consistently being a problem is the leg sweep mechanic. Um, if you have not anticipated or freedom before it, uh, you I haven't been able to get out of it in time when I'm dragged. This is because... Uh, it's entirely because there's too much latency. So once you get dragged in, even if you tap out right away to get out of range, uh, it doesn't happen fast enough, so you'll get leg sweeped. This means that you need a good enough understanding and comfort with the anticipate and freedom mechanics so that you can time those. Uh, if you don't know, and if you're like me when you're just starting out with Araxia and you just randomly freedom and anticipate as they come, um, instead of that, every four or five auto attacks, I'm not sure if there's an exact number there, it seems kind of random, uh, Araxia will do a special mechanic. Um, this varies a little bit. I noticed at the beginning of every fight, it can be after two auto attacks. Um, regardless, learn to time your anticipates and freedoms very well. Uh, that way you don't get like sweeped or caught in any other crazy mechanics. Uh, the same thing goes for the shield web and making sure you don't attack. Uh, latency can get you there too. And honestly, those are my only two bits of uh, like words of warning. The latency and being very careful with mirror backs. Um, other than that, the rest of the fight is pretty <laughs> straightforward, especially if you're even a little bit experienced. Uh, as far as abilities I want to mention, this is one area of concern, uh, especially for bossing on mobile, but um, on mobile you have these 10 ability bubbles that can pop up instead of your 3 or 4 ability bars that you might be used to having. Uh, with Araxor I found that it's actually plenty. Uh, I'm a pretty minimalist PVMer still, even as I you know upgrade throughout my bossing and playing and all that, but uh, there's plenty of space for you know, like Anticipate, Freedom, Surge if you really need it, uh, Essence of Finality, I mean those are Anticipate and Freedom are the two main ones you need with Araxor. 
other than that, you're free to have whatever you want in the rest of you know, the eight bubbles. So I have found that it's not that limiting with the racks, or it's not like Arch Blackboard for some reason, where there's so many varying mechanics involved that you need various abilities at your disposal. So 10 ability bubbles might not be enough um, to PVM the way you want on desktop, but really it's not a concern for a rack sort, I don't think. Uh, my kill times are actually about the same on desktop versus mobile at this point without very much practice. So yeah, that's what I can say about ability bubbles. One unpopular opinion I have uh, based on discussions with my clan mates and other people is that uh, I find Araxor to be easiest when the minion's path is closed. A lot of people prefer that one, but um, I die... Well, I'll say the thing I hate second most about Araxor is the Acid Spider that one-shots you. And I'm not paying attention to it, and the very first thing I hate the most about Araxor is the Mirabax when I'm not paying attention. I'm prone to not paying attention, so... <laughs> um, if there's one thing, like I said, that's harder on mobile, significantly it's the minions. Um, I've also found that my fastest kill time is by far or when the minion's path is closed. So unless you're going for the top leg, I really suggest going without that. Um, when the minion's path is open, for me personally, my kill times are at about six minutes, maybe five something if I'm lucky, but uh, when the minion's path is closed, that's closer to four minutes. That could be a personal thing for me. Like I said, a lot of people prefer the minion's path, but if there's anything I suggest for maybe starting this on mobile, maybe start when the minion's path is closed. Other than that, um, I'm not going to drag this video on too long because that's all there really is to say about Araxor and Araxion Mobile, guys. Um, be extra careful with the latency in the Araxi phase in Phase 4, since you'll be prayer switching enough to do that pretty quickly. But if you're moderately experienced, you can DPS fast enough to not uh, have to linger around there too long and kill her quickly. So, please let me know uh, if there's any other mobile bossing videos, mobile anything videos, desktop videos you'd like to see from me. I will be making more. So please leave your, th leave your thoughts on this. Let me know if you've tried or actually other bosses on mobile, what you think. Uh, I think it's pretty fluid. I like doing it, especially when I'm not by my desktop or I just want to lie down and be lazy somewhere and still play. So <laughs> all right, with that, I'll catch you next time, guys. Bye.